Over the summer, Hungary has received a lot of negative attention for how it has dealt with its refugees. But that's only part of the story, as Andres Svajorad of Migration Aid explains. Andres is one of the founders of Migration Aid, a volunteer civil initiative that was formed over the summer. The job has taken him all over Europe, most recently to Greece, welcoming those arriving in boats. Migration aid is one of many proofs that Hungarians do engage in helping refugees. The reason for their voluntary work is mostly the same. 75% of the volunteers are women, and there are many young people under And when we ask them what they have touched, then the answer is always the children. Pastor Aaron Stevens at the Reformed Church in Hungary has been actively involved in helping refugees for years now. We offer our space for programs that are run by a separate association. Those who have received asylum come for language classes, food and counseling. Offering help is not always pleasing to the public eye. It can quickly be seen as a political statement. There are one or two groups that have uh, organized demonstrations. If at the demonstration somebody starts to give a speech against the government, then it looks like I was joining a demonstration against the government, when really I'm just trying to join and make my voice heard on behalf of migrants. Not only protesting is politically difficult, some volunteers have been hiding refugees in basements like these over the summer. When the train station were packed with refugees who had no place to go, Judith has taken care of the refugees at the train station, which is not always appreciated by the public. I'm there at the train station, sometimes alone in the, in the evening or in the morning with a lot of food or a lot of water. And they just came up to us and they were shouting, why don't you feed Hungarian people? Once we started it, we cannot just left it. So we had the responsibility to go on and go on the other day. So we were quite a few number and, and we did everything. The need to help is something that Baba Musi also felt over the summer. After working for hours at the train station, he is still engaging and advocating on the behalf of the refugees. Today, Papa was honoring the volunteers who helped throughout the summer, all of whom are aware that the job is not done yet. There are still many refugees spread all over Europe and still Hungarians wanting to help them.